Hello everyone, it's your girl Cassandra Olivia and I'm here with a quick makeup tutorial on my girl Aaliyah. So we are gonna get right into this video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and let's go right to the video. So the first thing I'm doing is using foreign concealer and I'm actually concealing her brows first. Aaliyah has naturally thick brows and they're gorgeous. So I don't wanna do too much filling in. So I'm just gonna use the concealer to actually clean up that shape. And then I'm gonna go in and just lightly fill in the top anywhere that she might have a little bit of gaps, which is not much. So I'm just treading lightly here because I don't want her brows to be super thick. And now I'm just going in with my P. Louise base in the shade four. And I'm gonna apply this all over her eyelid and I'm just gonna blend that out with the foundation brush. Okay, so now I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette in the shade Amber, and I'm just using a BH Cosmetics blending brush to start blending out her crease. Now with the smaller BH Cosmetics blending brush, I'm just going in with the shade Oud, or Oud, I don't know how you pronounce it, sorry if I'm jacking it up. And I'm just using that to darken up her crease to add a little bit of dimension to her face. So now I'm going in with another BH Cosmetics blending brush. This is a smaller detail blending brush and it has nothing on it, no product. And I'm just using that to blend out the edges of that first shade we put down, Amber. So right here I switched to another detail blending brush with nothing on it and I just used that to blend out the other eye. So now I'm going in with a Sigma concealer brush and I'm using that P. Louise base shade four again. And I'm just gonna start tapping where her crease is all the way down so that way I can start creating my cut crease. So now I'm going in with another BH Cosmetics brush. This is a um, large eyeshadow brush and I'm just going in with this shade, Blood Moon. And I'm just starting to tap that over where I just put that P. Louise base. And I'm gonna do two layers of this in a tapping motion. So now I'm just using another BH Cosmetics small detailed blending brush and I'm just using the shade out to blend out the outer corners of that half cut crease. So now I'm going in with a BH Cosmetics eyeliner brush and I'm going in with my Inglot number 77 gel liner and I'm just going to line her eyes. Okay, so now I popped on some lashes off camera and I just used some duo glue for those lashes and a fan to make sure that they dry because I wanted it to dry clear. And now I'm just going in with my MAC Prep and Prime with a old, old throwback BH Cosmetics foundation brush. And I'm just using this to tap all over her face to make sure her skin is nice and moisturized so it's ready for the foundation. Okay, so now I'm going in with the foundation shade Nutmeg from the brand Black Opal, and I'm just gonna apply this over her face with a foundation brush, 
and I'm going to start smoothing it out and kind of spreading it before I blend it out with another brush from Sigma, the F80. Okay, so now her skin is blended to my liking. I'm just gonna go in with the concealer in the shade Fawn and I'm going to start highlighting her face. So I'm gonna do her forehead, the bridge of her nose, her cupid's bow, her chin, and right under her eyes. So now I'm gonna go in with another BH Cosmetics foundation brush that I've had since the beginning of time, guys. And I'm going to start tapping where I just put that concealer. So now that I have the concealer exactly where I want it, I'm gonna go in with a wet beauty blender and I'm gonna start blending out that concealer. I'm just gonna tap it so that way it doesn't move around too much because I want it to stay concentrated so that way when I contour, it sits nicely. Man, I was over here blending for my life, guys. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna go in with a blush brush from BH Cosmetics and I'm gonna tap it into my Sasha Buttercup powder. And I'm just gonna tap over where I just put that concealer. So now I'm just dusting away any of the excess powder and I'm just starting to blend that into her foundation. Set this with my fave Urban Decay All Nighter Spray so that face sits all night, honey. And then I'm going to go in with a fan just to make sure everything is nice and dry. And now it's all starting to melt into her skin. So now I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics Contour Palette in the darkest shade and a contour brush. And I'm just going to start to contour her cheeks and around her forehead. So now I'm just going to set her face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place Sahara in One Blush Palette in the shade Zane and I'm going to use a Sigma Dual Fiber Brush to blend that out onto her cheeks. So now I'm going to go in with this highlighter from Juvia's Place. This is the Heroin Glow One. I've actually had this for a while now and I've never used it before so this was actually my first time using it and so far so good. So now I'm going to put that same highlighter in the inner corner of her eyes and to highlight her brow bone. And then I'm going to just put off camera her NYX gloss. It is in the shade Praline in the Intense Butter Gloss. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy. And as always, you guys already know I was on the slate for the hair. So if you want to see the details on this, I'll be posting this as well. Thank you guys so much. Have a good one. Bye.